Hello everyone, it's Nana. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. In the last episode, we finally met Dandelion and asked him about Ciri, but he has no idea where she is. Today, we are gonna do his side mission and probably finally take a boat to Skellige. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, um, I already talked to Zoltan, I think, about his mission. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. Zoltan? Get out. Yeah, I did. Why has not anyone taking Novigrad? What do you know about the big four? What exactly are you doing here? Uh, I think I'm gonna ask him to play Gwent. Let's just do it. But yeah, he asked um, Geralt to get some cards for him. Probably gonna do that off camera as, as with other side missions and contracts as well. I'm gonna be focusing on the main missions from now on. So yeah. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Let's do some Gwent today. Let's play. It's very fun to play Gwent, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I got a new card. I don't I don't know where. But I'm just gonna add it and remove some. Let's see if there's any card. That is not good enough to be in the deck. I'm just gonna remove Sabrina. And start the game. How many cards? I have 25? Or, um, I'm not really sure. No, I need that. Okay. Let's keep that and start the game. See what's up. Starting an episode with Queen. Skoyatel faction. Oh, I... Okay. I'm just gonna redraw one of you. And you. Alright, well, that's... That, that's... A little better, I suppose. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my... Spy. Give me cards, thank you. Oh, ho! Already passed? Big mistake of your part. Now we can pass. I think he probably thought I would win. <laughs> he would win. Okay, Zoltan. Which card did I got? Did I get um, a horn? Nice. Hey, why is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I had um, used that. So, let's use Vasimir. Oh. Um. Let's continue using the the smaller ones for now. Oh, Jesus. He got a spy. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I can't get that one. Let get, let's get her back. Yeah, let's, let's get her back. Oh my goodness. Okay, Zoltan. Oh, I used that in the wrong moment. Nice. Let's see if I can win that. Oh. Not nice. He also used his horn. Holy. Ha! You see, that's how we do it. Maybe not. I'm s no, I'm not winning. 
have to be careful here. Is he gonna use all his cards? Listen, I am gonna use my lead. No, I cannot use my leader. I cannot. Okay. Well, let's see if he's gonna go ahead and use his card. Well, now I can use my leader. I think he's not gonna pass, you know. No, no, let's not use the leader for now. Let's wait. Let's wait for him. Yeah, I'm glad I waited. Let's use the leader. Oh, hold on. There we go. And we won! Very nice! Seems I won. Right fucking shock, given your <laughs> frankly amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. You do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing the shame of a dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Nice. But I'm gonna do that off camera. Oops, that's not here. I'm gonna go ahead and do dandelions. Uh, where is the door anyway? Oh, there we go. I was right at the door. Oh, not here? Oh, this is a window. Oh, uh, where's the door? Oh. This is truly what What's the hurry? To be a bear of cheap claws and watered down wine? Hey, I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh. Looking You're forward. always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. They fighting. You finally decide. <laughs> what was that about? She spat in my face. Or might Holy. as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. <laughs> A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Okay. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekema jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. I. Can I just lend you the coin, get a loan, or why a cabaret? Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Oh my Remember? god. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course... My goodness. If I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. What can I do? How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Okay. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And daddy dear would never refuse his daughter dear a thing. Uh-huh. We can borrow the coin from her. Sophronia. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return. You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Okay. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. Mm -hmm. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. 
Okay. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Oh, we're, we're gonna help him. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. All right, dude. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. Oh, well. Hey there, Hans. <sighs> I'm gonna schemed up this time. <laughs> it's trouble, definitely. So yeah. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Let us live, eh? Where is her? Where is Irina? Is she inside? There we go. Hello. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu. Oh, I, I think I asked her before. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. <laughs> Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Okay, what... What is Dandelion planning right now? You like the bass, or slap the Wars. Working, Wars everywhere. Okay. That's twinge me back again. Huh? Where where is the exit? Ah. I'm just gonna Breaking. jump. At least that's a word. Uh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, well oh Jesus. <laughs> well uh, that, that was a shortcut. Now we're gonna meet Dandelion. Oh, what's the rush? What's he doing here? I don't know what I'm doing here. Don't ask. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is he? Is he up here? Dandelion? Okay, I guess that, that that's the meeting spot. <laughs> I am curious. Ah, finally made it. Yeah. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? <laughs> Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Oh, Jesus, that's your plan. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. But any kind of plan is better than none. Really? I, I don't... Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andrew Mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... Almost No joked. time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. <laughs> Almost choked right now. Wow. Oh, that's, the, that's one of the girls. Stop met... right there. <laughs> what is this? Help! Save me! Oh god. Tremble, flaxen haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. Oh, jeez. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, Vermin. You shall regret the day you were born. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh, I mean, Crimson Avenger. Uh, uh, you're better than I thought. Uh, I have to fight him? God! Come on, Dandelion. Oh, come on. Go on, Dandelion. 
Dandelion! <laughs> I mean, Crimson Avenger! Where are you going? Uh, I pressed wrong. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Oh, God. I meet Dandelion in the morning. I don't know if I was supposed to do that to Dandelion. <laughs> but he was not attacking me. He was taking forever to do that. So let's go to the Rosemary in time. Get out of my way, shady individual. You're shady, but you're not a shadow, so get out of my way. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. <laughs> Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See, it's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Me? What are our choices? Hmm, what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? <laughs> <laughs> no idea what Dandelion would like. Get up. You've known him longer. Say something. Oh my god, me? Uh, cabinet still kid. A boudoir? Boudoir? Boudoir seems like a better fit for cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Is he gonna be able to pay though? I hope so. The poor guys. Well, guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Apparently he likes this place. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Really? I don't think so. We talking about the same dandelion? Man who loses a fortune <laughs> worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Oh, this and that sure are... I hope your opening won't be the first. Different He's things. still not here. Yeah. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. Now I gotta go after Polly. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. All right, we're gonna go find him then. He's probably in trouble right now. See what I do. Oh, there he is Dandelion. <laughs> He's destroying the door. What's the ruckus about? <clears throat> Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that Lummox won't let her work for me. Why? Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. <laughs> Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? You know, you know, no then, No idea. Line. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Okay. Wait, do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How do you know? Yeah, how do you know? How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. 
Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, oh you'd God. visit her often. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked <laughs> on the dance numbers I composed. Right. So, Polly's not one of your. I never mix business and pleasure. Are you the sure? The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Okay, you're bossy. Fine, let's find the key. The end lion is surprisingly bossy. Uh, have, oh, there find we go. Find anything? Yeah. There the Not key. Here. Huh? Really? Hey, Geralt. Not here. I know. I was looting. Can you get up? Huh? Not here. Okay. Not there. Then it's probably in here. There we go. Ah, the key. Get up. <laughs> Damn it. Now, where would she leave? It's in here, Dandelion. Let's see the mess that he's gonna cause. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! What the sandwich Watch fuck? It and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Oh god! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Uh. <laughs> My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. Yeah, I'll buy your skull. All right. So, Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. Not really. You said that. Did she? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. <laughs> Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. She's not your property, dude. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there, is the old publicity placard. Oh, God. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. Hmm. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. You sure? So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer. And that, in turn, means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled, then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. I mean, he does not have to agree, though, but yeah, different times, I guess. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. See ya, Polly. I guess. Ooh. Never expected that to go so well. It did not. Well, it would have been quicker if you'd. <laughs> nah, he handled it well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands when you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Do we go together? Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Right, well... I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. 
Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. <laughs> Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Okay, well, we're, we're just gonna be running around for him now. For a while, I suppose. What is happening in here? Any man who tell you that, we will see. Yes. Close to the notice. Just... Well, right. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not sure. Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Okay. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. <laughs> I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Sure, but I, I don't want to do that now. Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Yeah, sure. Sounds fine. See you there. I'm not going to Skellige right now. But when we go, we're gonna do it. And we're already close to our destination, which is great. First loot, and then we talk to the artist. Let's see what's up now. Oh god, what is happening? Everything is broken. What are you doing? Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine before the carcass is picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. That, that's not what, what I'm, uh, I'm here for. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You diff. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You regret this, mutant. Okay, they are gonna kill me. It's raining inside the house. Come here. Come on. Okay, we're done with this one. Oh. Come on, die. Okay, I think we're done. Tell me what you want, damn it. I already said. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal but estate. Losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Yeah, you didn't need to, to get beaten by me. Well, now I'm gonna loot his house because... Why the heck not? If there is anything to loot, that that is... There is. Okay. So I guess today's episode is gonna be... Geralt the Errand Boy. Oh, that's a candle. So yeah, I'll meet you guys in the 
Vagobut's residence. Oh god, why does he do that when he... Anyway, whenever he, g he goes down the stairs. Talk to her. Hello. We see each other again. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, we did. Have you come to race or are you merely a spectator? Haven't decided yet. Speak to the race master if you decide to compete. He's over there on the platform. I just want to know about the dude. You seem quite the rider, though not as good as Luke. A shame, really. I'd like to see someone knock that conceited brat down a peg. Are we gonna do it? I mean, I'm probably gonna lose, let's be real. But let's try it out. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. Okay, let's do it. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Okay, this is not look. Look, look. The guy that she wants us to beat. Competitors oh, saddle up just... on three, one, two, three, oh. off you go! Oh, hey, get yeah. out of my way! Woo! This horse is very hard to control. There is someone behind me really fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thumbs today. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, horse. Ah! <laughs> Please! Roach! Run, Roach. Ender in front of him. Come on, it's not gonna end. Roach is not really. Uh oh. Let's go. Get out of my way, dude. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby is over. Come on. Okay, I won. I thought I needed to continue running. Jesus. Races are always complicated, aren't they? Not bad. Yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. <laughs> What do you mean with that? My dog's having a bad dream right now. Competitors, saddle up! <sighs> On three! One! Two! Three! Go. Off you go! Come on! Roach, you're the best horse! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's not leave this Viscount. Win! We cannot... Oh, Jesus, I can't see him. Don't... Don't do this. Bandit camp? Ah! What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Are we racing in a different um, place? Oh, Viscount! No, 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 no! Come back here, Roach! Come on! All right, all right, all right, Roach. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Please, end. 
Oh goodness. Her stamina. Move it. No, no. There you go, there you go, there you go. Hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia. Riding Roach Glory to the victor. Whoa. We won two in a row. Nice. Bravo, congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Really? One more, one more. Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. Yes. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. So he's seen as something of a local champion. He's gonna lose now. We're not gonna let him win. Hope he's not really hard to race. Competitors saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! Come on! Go, Roach! Can't let this guy win. And the coin is probably good, so we're not gonna let him win. Oof. Oh, 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 Almost went to the wrong side. Oh, Jesus. This one is a little bit curvy. No, no, no. Go, go. Oh, Roach. Roach. Does not his horse get tired? Please. Come on! We're gonna lose! Oh, Roach. Why are his stamina so shitty? We're gonna lose! See? We're losing. Where is he? His horse does not get tired, it's weird. This is really bad. Because his horse does not get tired. But Roach gets tired all the freaking time. Come on, Roach. I wasted my coin. It's Roach's fault. Luke Vagelbud is good, but he's not unbeatable. Right. Shall I sign you up for another? I think we need to win. Alright, I am done with the races. Not really in the mood anymore. You Rotlick? Henri Rotlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. We met them. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. I'm not gonna race for you, I'm sorry. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. Okay. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to Deluverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Then the lion have to live without his placards. I just want those placards. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Yeah. Forgive me, I cannot. 
I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. You don't and have them. go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. I'm not gonna race again because I lost my patience, so let's just pay. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. <laughs> Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. I hope Fine. so. See you there. Yeah. Well, let's go. Now we go back to the end line. Yet again. Oh, what is happening here? Zotan. <sighs> I told you, the piece is sad, melancholy. It needs a minor key. But I wanted to, to ruin everything. <laughs> we'll start a new mine. Oh God. Okay. I guess it's done. The cabaret. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. Oopsie. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Not really. Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great. The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Kate. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Yeah. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Tamerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Makes sense. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Why well, would say then that? Have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. <laughs> How? Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Now? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Okay. So we're gonna see the opening of the cabaret, the chameleon. Oh, Thanks the for owl. everything. Don't mention it. The little owl is there. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Sure. Why not? After all the trouble. That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? Huh. <laughs> she said you're fat and you smell. She praised your rationality. Don't remember why do you? Uh, she praised your rationality, although I don't agree with her. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. <laughs> what? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. Huh? You like her, Dandelion? Is a new romance starting? One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Okay. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. <laughs> of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Hey, Dandelion. Master Dandelion. Oh, no. Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. What? Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt. Come with me, please. Who dare of hurt her? Let's go. Who did it? What the heck? Gods. Priscilla. 
Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Oh, Beg your no. pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Who did that? Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, oh incision into God. her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. What the f- What? Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. Oh no heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? I doubt. This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Yeah. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Of course. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Oh my god. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Oh my god. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Hopefully. Easy assurance to make. Harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Yeah, okay. Damn, that, that turned really bad all of a sudden. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. Oh no! The sewers. Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. You sure? Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Oh god. Thanks. What were... I hope she survives. That was really unexpected. I was not really expecting anything to happen to Priscilla. She just went to change her clothes. So there's kind of like a serial killer. Taking people's hearts. Oh my god. You lead. All right. Oh. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get them. hear that. Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Right. Those are level level sixteen. Let me change to Ard. Okay, so oh water hag. Go go go. Yes. Best way to deal with a water hag. Those hags are really annoying. Where are we supposed to go, Doctor? 
Joaquin. Oh, lots of downers. Drowners. I always say the name wrong. Straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Oh no! Me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Really? So she can lose her voice. This was so sudden. So weird. Ooh. There are any places that we can? No, we have to go through here. All right. Well, this is a different. Take the ladder. Okay. This is a different sewer area, right? It's not the same that we took with trees for now or never. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. The Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Why? I think we're getting away from it. Where is he? Where'd you go, dude? Oh, that's the body? Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. Human. Wrong body type. Hmm. There is more doors in here? Maybe in here? The map says so. So that's the one, probably. There we go. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Oh, Jesus. I choose head. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? For what? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. Oh, gee. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. They tortured him. For what? Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Oh, God. Just like Priscilla's. This is so weird. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. So it's a doctor? Weird. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his ribcage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Okay, the chest wound. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. What is it? Ugh. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. 
So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Why, though? That's so weird. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Maybe. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Yikes. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Oh, Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. My light's turned off. It's fine. Let's look at his hands. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Hmm. But I wonder why. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. <laughs> mm hmm and a different sense of humor. Damn, Geralt. Okay, genitals. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Okay. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Weird. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Yeah, I don't know. This was a ritual murder. This was punishment. Murder is mad. Rather not sh share my... Maybe it was... A ritual? It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be. Scalding liquid. All centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. Oh. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Hmm. Take it you two know each other? You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. And you don't have gray hairs, which is really impressive. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Why? Wow. Out of the question. Show them out at once. Okay. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Oh, I'm impressed he's willing to help us in this matter. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But 
You didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. So we will continue our search until we find this bastard. But where next? Who is he? Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. <laughs> okay. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Understandable. Won't press you. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound. Unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. There's a as lot of stuff. I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. Okay. And I'll keep my eye on you. Okay, investigate the alley. Oh, Which one is closest? This one. Find Elstas, the corpse collector. This one is closer, so let's do that. Bloody bandits! Can't go out in the streets no more! At least the father didn't use to kill women. Oh. Rule of foul of the king of beggars. And you get none. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Somebody told me. Fourth sense, <laughs> I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neighbor, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Maybe it's him. Does Nathaniel? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Oh, Jesus, you rude. What was in his pockets? Tell me. Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Hmm. Uh, you're stupid. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oi, fucking hell! What was that for? You're stupid. For everything. Yeah. You're robbing corpses and you're doing shit as well, so. Call it what happened here? Now what we're going to the died. place where the woodcarver died. So let's see what's up there. My camera stops recording a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, guys. My camera records for 30 minutes only, so I kind of forgot <laughs> that I had to do that. I want to finish this mission today, hopefully we can. Um, 
can we enter through here? Is that where... I don't think so. Oh. I, yeah, I, I think it's another way, isn't it? Is it up? It's locked, so it's not here. Well... I am not really sure. Got my eye on you. Well, you don't have to. Oh, okay, I can knock here. I didn't even notice. Sometimes I Anyone don't know. Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, <laughs> I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set you stupid much, lay down! Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming creatures, I didn't even see them. Charming as beasts go. You daft! Even I'm scared of them. <laughs> but better bark and dog than an evil man at your door. Hmm. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound at least. The poor dogs. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Oh, there the dog. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Okay, your brother have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Yeah. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other, but he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, Let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. <laughs> Took to following one in particular. He'd say, It is all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back. Quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Hmm. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss and burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found the Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claimed not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Well... I don't know what is going on here. I can't make Fine. We've anything out enough. of it. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Right. I hope they don't bite me. Uh, so use your Witcher senses. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. And it was not clean. It's raining. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Huh. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. And what is that? Dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Is there anything in here? I'm just gonna loot in his face. Hope the dogs don't kill me. Oh, there is something here. Concerned citizen sermon. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames, fire can prepare or nourishment, fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet, fire can also scorch, burn and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with the eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in, ignor in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. 
take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. There's this one. That was... Okay, inside maybe? It's locked. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... Since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Oh, he is really shaken by his brother's death, huh? We need to find who did this. <sighs> Oops. Don't push me. Okay. Oh my god, Carrot. I don't know what happens with him. He just... Yeah, I don't know if that's a bug, but he can never get down the stairs normally. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Oh no, it's his eyes. How that happened? Okay, that's probably the chair that was used. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. There is more blood here. That was not a shiny. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Nothing here. Really? So we're done inside of here? Oh, now we're gonna go to the alley? Okay, let's go to the alley. Bye, dogs! Such a shame I can't pet the dogs in this game. <laughs> I always like petting the dogs. I used to spend a lot of time doing that on Red Dead. Red Dead 2. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Already? Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You are to come as soon as you can. Okay. Uh, ah. Oh my god, what are you doing? I need to go to the alley for... Um, yeah, let's go to the alley first. Let's investigate and then talk to this dude. Which is kind of weird. So that's the place that she was attacked? Whistling, whistling Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Get out of here. A brazier, this time of year. Grab him! Sis, that him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. What, 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 what? What do you guys want? What? Why are they trying to fight me? The heck is wrong with you? Gotta got you clean, you lass. Oh, I cannot use my art. Oops. Okay. Gotta get around him. Okay, one is done. Take this one that is already ouch. Oh. Hey. Why this girl is acting like that? Didn't even do anything to her. Oops. Okay. What was that about? Think you'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Yeah. Here I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Why did you change you, your... I don't know. Why did you change? <laughs> you wanted to kill me. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. 
You were aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Damn. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid hoe in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. That is sad. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Right. I'll try to. Um. Oh, my head's ringing. <laughs> Awful pile. Oh, it's ringing because you try to... Oh, there was something in here. My dog is trying to push me. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. I saw that before. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Human. Priscilla's. Priscilla's blood? There's more stuff. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Yeah. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Remember, good people, the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes very every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape shifting dopplers can hide from its light, not even witches and sorceresses. So, adepts at fooling the common folk, not the loose women who walk the street and fog men's minds with their charms, abandon them the treacherous and immoral magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke an unclean thought. And the eternal fire will expose for you all monsters and sinners. Or else burn you too in its flames. This is bullshit. Big, big bullshit. Let's talk to the coroner. This dude... Oops. Open. Dude probably think he's... Making justice with his own hands by cleaning the streets. Not the first time we see this kind of stuff. But he's gonna die, definitely. I'm not gonna spare his gun if I have the chance to. Oh. Right. It's, not here. Right. it's over yeah. here. Good. There we go. We're talking to the coroner. Uh, is he inside of here? Welcome, Master Witcher. Thank you. At least you're polite. Most people try to speed on me. We're back at the morgue. Hello. First loot. And now we go to the coroner. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Okay. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous <laughs> visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Right. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Hmm. Okay. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. Oh! You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. 
a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Oof. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Wait. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Could he be the killer? All right, let's see what we're gonna pick. Look a little young to be Von Gratz's teacher. How old's Von Gratz? 50? 60? 53, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Really? Who's the victim? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. I Any think titles it's... in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Hmm, weird. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Oh my god! Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? He is horrible. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Hmm. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the ribcage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. He even went to her estate once oh. with... Gotta find her, now. Oh no, we gotta save her! Oh no. Patricia Vega, but what she do? Is she against? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oops. Oops. Where am I supposed to go? Uh okay. Okay, we're getting there. I hope that we can save her. Open that shit. Do I have to talk to you? What do you want? You need to talk to Patricia. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. <laughs> so be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yeah, yeah, all right. Hope she's still alive. There she is. Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. A murderer has marked Patricia as his next victim. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Yeah. Well, even if it's true, our gods. He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I hope she's not I find dead. This all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please. Follow me. All right. Hope she's still alive. I'm kind of worried right now. fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We've been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square. 
uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. Oh. We need to hurry. Washed your hair lately? No, I didn't. I'm gonna wash my hair today. Stop asking about that. <laughs> What is going on here? Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. She's dead. You should go she? in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh, God. I hope. <laughs> yeah. He. He ran out the other door! Catch him! Oh, God. Chase the murderer. Oh my god, Geralt, just freaking Geralt! You're getting stuck everywhere! How you like that silver? No dogos! No dogos! No time Spread for you! Out. Murderous still here. Where is he? Where is he? In here? There he is! Get him! Why are you guys after me? I'm trying to chase the murderer. Oh my god, what you guys want? Die, mutant! Why? It was not me. Where is the dude? Do I have to defeat them first? Excuse me, I don't have time. I don't have time. Oh my god. Are they seriously. I'll break your bones! Oh god. So Yep. What is happening here? Did I lose him? I'm confused. Halt! For I put a bolt between your eyes! It's not me. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery! Taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. They're stupid. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but. Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Oh my god. Forgive me. I saw him running, thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Yeah. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but... Usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. We're gonna catch him. For Priscilla and for everyone else. Damn. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. We're going there, Dan. Oh. <sighs> Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination will be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sinners alike, be they paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. This is... I hope that we can at least save the next person. I'm not really sure if I... If I would be able to get him 
probably not, right? I'm just gonna fast travel to go faster there. This is so... so weird. It's definitely someone from the Eternal Fire and you guys are dumb. Very, very dumb. Y'all should be fired. All of these guards should be fired. I wonder how he got here so fast though. It's quite far. Um, My wife won't believe me. There we go. Oopsie. Over here? Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Any leads, master? Go! Where, where, where? Hey darling, like what you see? Oops! Not now! Where is it? <coughs> oh no! No one will hear you, bitch! Not a soul! You though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. This I guy. was to play with sweet Nettie. Render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Ooh. First I gotta know why. First gotta tell me why you do it. Yeah. For pleasure. Satisfaction. You suck. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. You're disgusting. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Huh? Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk calmly. Talk calmly. Who knew you'd be you? here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who. That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. Oh my god! I shall stay here. I've unfinished business no. with sweet Nitty. After all, I paid in no, advance. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that. Can't allow it. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Yeah, you... Whoa. Die. Come on, come closer. You're gonna die, Nathaniel. Yes. Can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Untie the girl. You're free now. No. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. The poor girl. He asked if I did everything and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Damn. So there's two people doing that shit. Ah. <sighs> 
God damn, so it was the coroner after all. Where is the stairs? How do I get out of here? Oh my goodness. It's not in here? Uh, I can't go down. There we go. That was Snake really... Eyes. I'll Got a snake's tongue face. as well. <sighs> I bet a free ship, you mean me to grab another lass to join us? You're a vulgar us. one. No, I can see it in I your face. I'm not I'm vulgar. Oh, right. Oh, it's locked. What with the state you two are in, you've got to fluff each other first. Right, so... So the coroner knew this Nathaniel guy was doing that. He went after the people that he was doing that to and That's killed them? Or he had separate victims. It's not here. No problem. Man, this gets complicated as time goes. This dude oh. is gonna pay. Holy shit. I was definitely not expecting this outcome. I started to doubt Hawking. Where? It's locked. But this is open? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Hmm. Although... You've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Oh! Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Yeah. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. It makes sense, he looks so young. You're a sick fuck. <laughs> I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah well, this conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. Hmm. I last fought a witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. You're gonna die. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would not have survived. Fuck. Hello. Oh no. Where are you? Eesh, I hate those creatures. Hold on. Igni! Oh. Ow, Jesus! Oh. God damn it! Where is it? Where is it? Stench. Come on, come here! Maybe Ard would be better? Okay, okay. Where are you? Ow, oh, Jesus! So they transform these vampires. Interesting. My freaking sword is breaking. 
What is happening with you? Okay. Slowly but surely we will kill this thing. Two hits and we move. I think this vampire is a little bit confused. Jesus, you... Ah! Can't believe you did that. Oh no, Geralt, why did you do that? Geralt, I think sometimes you're, you're a little dumb. Hello? Let's do it right this time. Get the bump. Oh my god, it didn't even. Woohoo! Come on. Oh, Jesus, you. Fucker! Shit. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah! Goodbye. Need to fix my sword. Okay, talk to Dandelion about Priscilla's condition. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So Priscilla does not believe in the eternal fire. Let's um, fix my outfit first. I'm not really sure if I still have... Come, okay. That's good. I think that's here where Priscilla lives? No, this is the hospital. There is another room. I'm sorry, I suspected you, dude. It was not you. It was the other one. Damn. How's better? Right? Oh, I'm glad. Y yes. Damn, Priscilla. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. <sighs> Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the dryads of Brockalon could. I hope. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering <laughs> comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. Hopefully. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It does. Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. So, we don't talk to them anymore? We don't... Hey, Priscilla. Sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Aww. Geralt? Yeah. Hi, dude. I think I need to yes, talk to Yes, Geralt? Him. Found the murderer. Hubert told me about your past. Even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Damn, calm down. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Hmm. I think you never atone for a murder, though. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? No. The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, 
collected his diploma and, when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. Damn. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. All right. Happen to know a woman named Shani. I don't know Shani either. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair, cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Right. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. So Garrett know this woman. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. He was too young. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Yeah. But, like, he looked too young for the amount of time... Farewell. ...that he has been around, so... I don't know. Somebody should have suspected that he was not human? Perhaps? Loot. Mandrake root. This place is filthy. So, like... God. This vampire is kind of insane. So, maybe other vampires are like that too, huh? So, yeah, guys. I'm gonna end today's episode right here. I was definitely not expecting that to happen to Priscilla. I was just, like, thinking that Dandelion's mission was just gonna be fun and about the cabaret and not about a murderer or a vampire so the vampires can disguise themselves as humans and become that weird thing can you stop screaming dude i am talking right now but yeah um i'm gonna do a lot of side quests off camera during the weekend and i am not really sure how many I'll be able to, but I'll try to show you guys on the map or I'll just tell you what I did, but I'm gonna try to do a lot of exploring on Novigrad's map, the map is huge, there's so many things to do and I think that if I just try to do everything on camera, it's probably gonna be a little boring for you I know that it's kind of like mixed opinions. Some of you want to see all the side missions. Some of you want to see only um, the most important ones along with the main story. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the main story. I think that's the most important point. But I am definitely going to get to experience the other parts of the story of this game. The other storylines, the side quests, the contracts. I know that there's some that are probably interesting for us to do on camera and that i know you guys are probably gonna let me know there's like two uh contracts that were recommended to do on camera so i'm gonna try to do them as well it's just all the, the missions in this game are super long so it takes a while um and i'm trying to make longer episodes but by making longer episodes i usually cannot post so frequently so yeah it's probably two episodes of two hours in a week instead of three or four episodes of one hour and 20 minutes one hour and a half or one hour and 40 minutes two hours take a lot to render unfortunately so yeah but today it was a little longer i have been recorded recording for almost three hours so the episode's probably gonna be longer than two so yeah i think that's about it that i had to talk to you today i my teeth hurt so much guys i don't know why it hurts so much but i have been trying to hold on to that <laughs> so if i was not as cheerful in today's episode is because i am in a little bit of pain but yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me today hope that you guys enjoyed the episode and i'll see you in the next one with the witcher tree and i'm gonna try to make it longer 
or at least longer than an hour and a half. So yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye bye.